Jalen, you guys have obviously been involved in a lot of those, you know, last second plays, and some have gone your way, and some haven't. What, what? Uh, first of all, you just described the shot and having to get it up high, and kind of your thought process on that, just just how good it felt, you know. Uh, well, originally the the play was designed for Dan initially, so once I seen Dan wasn't open, I dribbled over Isaiah. He rolled his foot. When he rolled his foot, his man had stopped playing, and it just opened up the lane. So I knew, like working out with Velton and T Top. Uh, they always preached to me, get the ball high or it's going to get blocked. So I just went with my instinct and put the ball in there, and it went in. And just how, how did it feel to see go? Okay. Pretty good. Knowing I've been in those situations a lot, and I haven't really executed, Coach A still has faith in me to keep the ball. So it feels, feels good. Were you surprised to have such an open lane right there at that moment? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's just how big for you all to win a, with the national championship team here and, all, and just kind of all was on the line today. I mean, it was pretty big to have them here because, you know, they've kind of fueled some of our energy. They, you know, they were here, you know, they had energy for us. The crowd had energy for us. I mean, if it wasn't for the crowd, we probably would have never pulled this out because we had to feed off them because, you know, they got loud at the end, you know, with them helping us out. I mean, you couldn't ask for nothing else because, you know, we got the win at the end. The possession before uh, Jalen's uh, game winner where Coleman set the turnover and led to the jump ball, can you guys kind of take us through that a little bit, what you saw? Oh, I mean, so, what happened right there? I don't remember. It's like, I want to say, Gabe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody was at the high post. He threw a pass in. Or I, gave, I guess Gabe tipped a pass or a tip like out of someone's hand. You know, Gabe fell on the floor. He pushed it out. Isaiah dove on the floor. So me, I'm thinking Isaiah's going to get it to one of the guards, but I'm taking off running, and Isaiah throws it straight to me. So, like, I had to jump over Isaiah and catch the ball at the same time and come down, dribble. And Davis, he comes and tries to steal it. So I kind of try to, like, spin off him, but I lose the ball. So I had to dive on the floor so I didn't give us a turnover. And it was just, you know. Six at the free throw line going into the last mm -hmm. two free throws that you made. Did you have a little talk with yourself before you went to the line or to kind of get your confidence up? Or did you say anything to yourself to kind of get yourself motivated when you hit the two free throws? Yeah, I cussed myself out. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it was, you know, those are big shots. And at the, in games like this, you need shots like that. So I just can't, you know, with one being one of the, you know, main players on the team that has to score, I can't, you know, just come to the line and go over when I have two shots. I, I, need the, I need at least one of them. So, you know, it just got real aggravating that, you know, I work on free throws, but as much, as much as I shoot them, they don't fall for me in the game. So I just have to get my mindset on, you know, make the free throw instead of, you know, oh, if I make it, you know, this will happen. Or if I miss it, this will happen. So. How hard is it to kind of have that short-term memory where you got to kind of put that behind you and step up there again to make those kind of shots? Uh, at the beginning of the season, it was real hard because, you know, I felt like that I was letting the team down. But now that, you know, we got, you know, our confidence and everything, you know, in play, with all that, it's not really that hard. You know, it's basically just like next play. Like if I miss a free throw, we can come down, then we can execute, then we can get another bucket. And I, I can make up for that because I might be the one to get the bucket. Or I can just come down, I get fouled, and I go up and make two more two more free throws that I get. I just got to, you know, have short-term memory loss because it's like real easy now for me. And, you know, it's just like, you know, clockwork for me now. <laughs> Both you guys. Uh Obviously, you had a six-game uh, losing streak, hadn't won a long time. Just how good does it feel to, to win again? I mean, what, what's that feeling like? Feels real good. Uh, the energy in the locker room has changed a bunch, uh, especially to do it in front of the 94 team. Uh, it, it's, it was a great feeling, especially right after the game. Yeah, I mean, with this type of win, I mean, <laughs> it can't get no better than that. I mean, it's a feeling of relief because, you know, we thought we let basically the program down and everything because, you know, we weren't getting the wins that we needed. So we just had to come out and we had to play basketball and finally get us one of us, try to finally break that losing streak because, you know, nobody likes losing, especially not us. Kind of piggybacking off of both guys, you in that losing streak, uh, you got two left here in the SEC tournament. What's kind of, what do y'all, what's the plan now? To keep winning. Yep. I come mean, out and play hog ball and keep winning. <laughs> you know, that's basically it for that one. <laughs> You guys yeah. are going to ask to roll, keep rolling with the throwback unis after this? Keep, keep going with it? I mean, it don't matter. I mean, I like them. I mean, we can I always keep playing in the mall. Yeah, I mean, I, I really want to take it home. <laughs> yes, Jalen, nine assists and one turnover. Do you feel like this was the best floor game you've played in a while? Uh, yes, most definitely. Uh, I've, I feel like I've been letting the team down. I've been struggling. I haven't bring, been bringing the energy, the pace. I've been slowing the ball down. So 
Just, I really haven't been playing hog ball. Uh, I've been going slow, so just to get the ball pushed up the floor, getting finding my guys today, it felt real good. Both guys, just thoughts on Mason. He kind of got <laughs> got loose in the second half. You know I mean, Mason took charge. Mason was one of the main reasons where we got our, you know, our flow going, where we had that momentum, because you know he came down and knocked down shots that basically did blew the roof off Bud because the crowd got into it, then we got into it and helped to help him out and you know, we just came in and we sealed the deal. Mason being the player that he is, uh we know he can get hot in in a hurry just like Isaiah. So mm -hmm. if he hits two we know to go to him again. Keep going to him until I mean it doesn't work anymore and he didn't fail today. Follow up on Mason, um he's playing off the how do you think he's handled <laughs> playing off the bench? <laughs> I think he handled it real well. Uh, you know, he doesn't show emotion. He doesn't pout when he get out there. He goes out there do his job, and when he gets subbed out, he's he's willing to come out and go right back in. And did you guys like wearing the, the throwbacks? Yeah, they they pretty nice. I, I like told them. you I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess could you all see the the Gabe steal at the end? And just kind of the feeling when you uh, when you saw it happen. Oh, that was icing on the cake. Even though Gabe, I think Gabe almost traveled at the end, but you know, that was icing on the cake. He doubled for sure. <laughs> yeah, he doubled yeah, for sure. He was so, I guess he was so happy he got to steal. He started jumping up and down with the ball in his hand. But you know, yeah, like I said, that was icing on the cake. To, you know, get that steal and officially seal the deal to where we can just get it out and the clock runs out and you know, they hear that final buzzer and we're up. I mean, that was the best feeling of the game to me, especially as you can see, I came down, I screamed at the crowd. <laughs> I think there was like 21 lead changes or maybe 22. What was it like being in a game where it seemed like nobody could get on a run, nobody could get much separation? I mean, just the, the back and forthness of it. Uh, any game like this is a fun game. Uh, knowing that it's, it's very competitive, nobody wants to lose, and we just keep going at it, and, co and we're not going to give up just like they won't give up. I mean, you know, it was a back and forth game. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I thought it was going to be a point where, you know, we strided out to where we got a big lead. I think it happened like one time we was like up four maybe. And then, you know, it got back down to where it was like lead change after lead change after lead change. In that situation, you just, you know, you got to keep your cool. Because you never know where the game can go when it comes to a like, situation like that. I mean, it was going back and forth, but, you know, it always comes down to the person that can finish in the end. And we wanted it more today. And we wanted, we wanted the game a lot. No, and we just learned how to finish today. Last one. Jalen, I know your dad is in from North Carolina today. How did it feel to have that kind of game and that kind of finish coming from you with your pops in the stands? Uh, it's a real good feeling, knowing that he's been on me, telling me to keep my head up, knowing uh, I've been struggling as of late. So just for him to be here, it was a big deal. He's a daddy's boy.